Hey everybody, so we're gonna go into the hive. We've got a focus today. We wanna see A, did the queen survive and get let out of her cage, the queen cage? If so, we're gonna add mite strips to help protect them from the varroa mites. We're also gonna add the rest of the panels so that they'll have a full hive. Um, we've got our smoke going right now. Give them a couple good puffs here. And let's start opening things up and see what we got. First thing we'll take off our cover. Oh my gosh, look at that giant spider. Yeah. It's one of those jumping spiders. He's got a lot of stones being up in there with the bees, doesn't he? Yeah. Look at they're starting to come out already out of the top. They're like, hey. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke them down. We want them to go down into the hive. I'm gonna get our hive tool. Nice to have your handy dandy hive tool. Which is nothing more than a pry bar that's got all kinds of wax and honey and stuff used on it. Whoa. Get it in there. Break the seal that the bees have made. Lift it on up. Holy cow, look at all those bees. Burcomb. Oh, look, they've already got honey that they're making up there. This is all brand new comb. A week ago, none of this was there. So they, they've been busy. And that's promising. So let's get some smoke on there first. So let's go on. This is what we came for. It's right here, the queen cage. We got two dead bees in there, but they look like they're drones. They look like they're the same size. I'm willing to guess that the queen made it out. They did eat everything out of there. So that's good. We've got a few bees floating around. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Bethany, they're all around us. Yeah, I know. So we got one, two, three, four in there, five, six, seven. We need three more frames. these bees around us. We're hoping that the queen's still alive. This one doesn't have squadoosh going on. It's just been sitting there, so we're going to tighten it up. It looks like, though, the way they've been going into the hive, I think most of the activity is over on this side, on these slats. <coughs> that smoke is killing me. Yes. Let's move the smoke out of our way. and smoke them a little bit more if we need to. I'm really curious if we're building brood. What's it doing in here? We've got all kinds of bird coming down now. Let's pull out one of these frames and just see if we can see any. any oh my goodness. So look at all this. That's a lot of bees out there, right? You see all that? some honey going on. I don't see the queen anywhere. Oh, I'm trapping it. I don't want to trap it. It's like they're in there eating and feeding. I don't see any camped brood right here. No, but you can see this is all uncapped here. They're definitely... Look in the other ones that are more in the center. Well, the thing is, is the more that we get in here, the more chance we run of damaging the queen. Look at how they're all, like, on the side. I need the smoke in here. We don't want to do because like they'll all scatter off the edges. What we don't want to do is smash them all off. Because you can smash the beats. Over there for a 
second. Let's, let's hold that down just a little bit more. Because I want to grab this next one, like you said. Ass one right there. Where? It's up there. I don't think that's the queen though. So they're building these out. They're filling them with nectar. Got honeycomb going on in there. They're definitely working. I mean, there's a lot of activity in there, isn't there? Yeah. I don't want to keep peeling things out. The more we mess with it, the more chance we have of damaging our queen. They've only been in there a week, so I don't know how much brood she could have laid already. We need three more frames, right? to go in there and clean it up anyway. Bees were on their way out, climbing out, and they died. Is that what that looks like? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We should be able to fit one more in there. I'm going to take the high tool and reposition it. Make sure it's I really want to 
suit's heavy. <coughs> Something crawling on here. kind of like waxworm or something. Well, I don't think it's a wax. What's that look like? Does that look like a little bee? Where? See him up in there? No. Um, there. Wait, I want to see. He's gone. I think he knocked him down. Dude, this is so heavy. There's one right there. Ew. Yeah, I know. I don't like that. Do you think that's one of the mites? No, that's not a mite. Mites are little. I don't know what mites look like. I have no idea what that is. Got one on my thumb. What the heck is that? Put it in there though. Mite strips. Got our mite strips right here. Put in two of these bad boys. Because we don't want our bees to have varroa mites or any other mites for that matter. We want a nice, strong, healthy population. Even though the post office had our bees in Pontiac on Tuesday and didn't deliver them till Saturday, it looks like our numbers are still pretty good. Space these out appropriately. One, two, three, put one right. I'm gonna put it on the second. Reason being, most of the bees are over there. I'm also gonna put one back over here. Because I think they're gonna go there. Now it's just a matter of putting everything back together. So we got some bees over here. We're gonna shake these guys off. I'm surprised we didn't find any larvae up here, but right now they'd just be so tiny. They'd be like little grains of rice in those cells. It's hard to tell. Um, let's pull the Taylor Swift and shake them off. Shake them off. Oh, shake them off. There's a bee on the phone. Awesome. <laughs> I 
can tell you they are really pissed off right now. Really? Upset. Look at them all. Look at how many bees. And this is like a brand new hive. By the end of the summer, if we're lucky, we'll have 80, 90,000, maybe 100,000 bees. Bottle. Got some water in here for them. Just in case they get thirsty. And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us.